Did you ever think about becoming a doctor when you were growing up? Or a firefighter? Or an astronaut and going to the moon? I mean, there's a lot of professions I feel like crossed my mind when I was growing up. And as you get older, there's just so much pressure, a ton of pressure to figure out like, what are you doing? And so I don't know about you, but I've definitely been asking myself, what am I doing with my life? What is my passion? I'm not gonna lie, it sounds a little embarrassing to say, what am I doing with my life? And if you're asking yourself those exact same questions, I get it. It isn't easy to find your passion. Now don't laugh, I, I had this epiphany as I'm getting my hair cut and my barber asked me, so what do you do? And then I was just like, I do stuff, a lot of stuff. And then after I said that, it was just quiet for a while. And I was just like, what do I do? I mean, I make videos, I have an Airbnb, I like real estate, I like DIY, I like interior design, I make beanies, I sell things, I do stuff online. I mean, <sighs> but you know what? Every single day, I feel like I am extremely lucky. As I wake up, I kind of know, like I want to do this. I want to take some photos, I want to market these beanies, I want to do this project, I want to renovate my entire Airbnb, I want to buy another Airbnb, I want to flip that, I want to flip homes, I want to just do so many things. I have all this time and I'm not just going to sit there and let it go to waste. Something inside of me that keeps driving me to go down a direction, any direction. So to be honest, I find it quite fascinating that we have the ability to choose what we do in this world. My goal was to share my marketing knowledge, video knowledge, and all this other fun stuff. I got a lot of video clients, started doing consultations, I was gonna go into a coaching business or video marketing, and then I just realized that I would rather make beanies, knit, organize my shelves, install shelves, remodel a kitchen, a bathroom, and like all these different things. I would rather invest my time in doing stuff with my hands and making money rather than giving my time away and working on other people's projects. And I completely understand how scary that is to physically pick something and hopefully something that you envision doing for the rest of your life. It's like more serious than a long-term committed monogamous relationship. I mean, that's serious. You could become a professional gamer. You could become the next OnlyFans top model. You probably could explode on TikTok faster than you could explode on Instagram. And you know what? You are probably really good at all those handy, crafty, artsy things that you love doing, but you don't believe that you'll be able to sell it online. Like, you can do it. I'm not one to judge. I'm just one, I wanna say young, but I'm 28, person who made one really smart investment in real estate and doesn't have to work a lot anymore and has all the free time in the world to do what he wants, like create videos for people online who hopefully are paying attention. And when I say that it is okay to struggle internally, to not know what you are doing in life or what I am doing in life and not knowing what your passion is, because heck, my passion changes all the time, like my underwear. Every single day I want a new passion. But that's because my passion gets dirty though, if it was my underwear. Never mind. Look, I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm just telling you to do the things that you actually want to do. And if you're in a place where you're just not doing it, then try to figure out how you can transition to that one place that you do want to do, that will give you all the liberties that you kind of want to have in your life. And so I know, Probably not gonna like this question, but just dig deep, 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 deep inside of you and ask yourself, what do I like to do? Is this my passion? It's life. Who is here? It is literally 9.46 p.m. Pause my recording.